Good morning, folks. This morning's soap is from Strike Gold Shave. This is the Gipper. I have a scent profile down below. <laughs> you don't want to trust my nose on a lot of this. But anyway, this is what the soap looks like. It's firm, but you still push your finger into it. It's not too tough to scoop out for your bowl. I still have the uh, Allen Block without the rubber band. Unscented Witch Hazel that's methylated. Got the matching uh, aftershave. And off camera I'll be using the Shave and Sailor Beard Oil. Shaver of the Day. This is the box that it comes in. It's from Fine Accoutrements. This is the Marvel Razor. It's about roughly three and a half inches in length and weighs about 3.3 ounces. If you follow the Parker line of uh, razors that would be considered a heavyweight, it's, uh, it's got a lot of what I call cool stuff on the box. For instance, right there, it tells you to use uh, fine soap. It's stuff like that that I like about this, uh, about these kind of boxes. It's pretty cool. There on the bottom, if you're wondering, it says Made in China. It's a, uh, a zinc alloy that's uh, chrome electroplated, if I remember right. That's the wording on there. And this is what the shaver looks like. And um, I would consider this a heavyweight under normal conditions. In other words, I know there's some that I feel like are on the extreme side of things <laughs> that are way heavier. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> at any rate... I would consider this a heavyweight. So this particular shaver, due to its weight, falls in that uh, theme of allowing the sharpness of the blade and the weight of the razor to do the work for you know the beard reduction. And so uh, gentle pressure is probably going to be in order. And that wording I got from uh, some instructions for an R41. Uh, and I like that wording, that gentle pressure, because that's uh, probably going to be pretty important with a shaver like this. Here's the uh, cap and base plate. Kind of see what they look like there. And it's a familiar design to a certain degree. Pretty cool, though. It's well polished. Fit and finish is quite nice does have the F on the end of the bar there. And the blades I've got lined out for the next uh, five shaves. I have uh, going to start with the um, going to start with the Derby. And the rest of these I'm not sure exactly what order I'll be using them but I will be using them at some point in time. I got the uh, Gillette Silver Blue. I also got the uh, Persona Lab Blue. And also, of course, I'm going to be uh, using a feather and also a Voskhod. Thinking that should be a, a, it's not the full spectrum of what you normally would see on the um, uh, various different shave of the days. But, you know, five shaves, you can only fit so many blades in. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the Derby blade. Derby, uh, to a degree, depending on... Uh, I guess you might say how I feel about the shaver. It's a good blade to start with if you got some in your stockpile of uh, DE blades. If you're unsure about your shaver, don't know if it's going to be aggressive or not, might start out with a derby blade and see how it works for you and just go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and place my uh, derby blade here, right here on the top, on the cap. And uh, I'm going to see how this lines up. It looks like so far it's working out pretty well. Sometimes with a three-piece razor, depending on the tolerances and uh, whether or not there's a little bit of fiddling to get the uh, blade to line up, and looks to be pretty easy to me. I think I got it on there. Didn't have to fiddle with the blade at all. Don't know that there's a whole lot of uh, wiggle room in there for that blade to get out a little bit out of alignment. I'm going to put a hot towel to the face and I know it's been a while so I probably ought to show again. I have, this is a, um, a vegetable strainer you put on the top of your can 
and that's what I've been keeping my <laughs> cube on so it'll have a, a little bit of air underneath it for it to dry and uh, it is getting smaller I have to say I'm there for a while I didn't think it's ever gonna go away <laughs> I thought it's gonna be like the Allen block it's gonna be years <laughs> I'd have to say, it's been quite an experience with the uh, cube. Sometimes I notice a difference in the shave and sometimes not so much. I don't know if it has anything to do with, um, I don't, well, I know sometimes it has to do with the soap. Whether or how much of a difference I notice or not. But also I kind of wonder if it has more to do with the shaver. For me, the uh, slickness is king on a uh, shavette or a straight razor shave, and I will notice it more so on a shave like that. In other words, certain shavers will need more glide than others will, in my opinion. I think I got that worked in pretty good. Been kind of anxious to see how this is going to shave. <clears throat> I have the um, lather whipped up over here and my distinctive goat bow that's made out of um, walnut and there we go that's what the bottom of the bowl looks like it has grooves in the center it's whipped up with a uh, get some of that off there ever ready brush that came by the way of a strike gold shave and um, in case I haven't mentioned it just yet um, oh this is a badger knot by the way um, the Gipper is back in stock. If you thought you missed out and you're interested in getting some uh, of this soap, like I said, I'll put the scent profile down below. But if you're interested in getting some of the soap, he's got it back in stock. It does smell nice. There just went some of the lather. Almost got it on the gipper there. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, allow the weight of the razor and sharpness of the blade do their work. And uh, here we go. I should mention that the, um, I'll do this in the next video, show the what well, my thoughts were about the similarities in between the Hydra and the Marvel Razor. The um, see how that's angled right through there on the cap. Pretty sure that's probably about the optimal angle that you'd want to use. It does seem to be um, pretty smooth shaving. The handle length, I think, is just about right. It does give you the opportunity to uh, put your little finger underneath it to help with control. And not only that, if your handle does get a little bit wet with your little finger, your pinky underneath there, it does help with the uh, keeping it in your hand and then try to slide out. The knurling on the handle is, um, I guess you might say, is soft. It's not sharp, it doesn't hurt the hand, it doesn't poke the hand or anything like that. But it is there and it is well rounded. Depending on what you like with your knurling. Whether you like it really sharp or like a smooth and kind of a polished type feel to it. With the weight, overall weight being 
3.3 ounces. You could probably find another handle if this one here seems a little too heavy, too short, or whatever the case might be. Don't think that's going to affect the head on how it's going to shave for you. I have to say, first pass is pretty smooth. It does feel like a, so far, a shaver that you can shave with on a daily basis. It doesn't feel to be that aggressive, at least not to me. Not with a derby blade. We'll find out with a feather, huh? There is some feedback. More so on the uh, cross grain than what there was with the grain. Should say this running about forty dollars on the website. If you're interested in getting it, this really is a smooth shaver. This is pretty good. Derby blade's working well. I think that was a good choice to start out with. Derby blades are kind of hit and miss with me. Some shavers that work well, some shavers not so much. Uh, this one here, it's working well, quite well. This is, uh, yeah. In other words, if this was the only blade I had <laughs> in my uh, den, I got many blades. Uh, <laughs> this would be a, uh, oh, this is a match. Wouldn't have to worry about getting another blade. I mean, this is a really smooth shave. Really didn't know what to expect. Because what one person feels like is a... Uh, Smooth shaver might be aggressive to another, but in my opinion, this is pretty smooth. This is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, don't know that I would call it, there is the blade, you do feel it, but like the box mentions, comfortable but efficient, yeah, it's, it's shaping up that way. Is some feedback on the against screen pass. Yes, this is um, this is pretty darn smooth. This is a pretty nice shave. I'd have to say, going against the grain, that this kind of shaver, uh, I think it is uh, very well possible to uh, get a uh, BBS. I could, this is a really nice shaver. My face is fairly smooth. Like I said, I could do a pickup pass, which would not be much. Face does not feel irritated or anything of the sort. I don't feel, of course, the Allen block will tell me how well I did, but it does not even feel like the Allen block is going to have a whole lot to say. Feels pretty good, very smooth. Definitely the kind of shaver where <laughs> you might want to use on a Monday. Having a hard time opening your eyes, keeping them, those eyes open. You're trying to get ready for work. This might be that kind of shaver, definitely for a Monday. Because it is easy to use, smooth, comfortable. 
You can kind of tell that was my first time using it in that. It's pretty easy to find the angle. Like I said, you keep along that line that it's already angled at, your shave is going to be pretty good. You can tweak it from there if you feel like you have the need, but to me that's, that's the angle to keep. Just like the Hydra. That angle is already set, just follow that angle. You're going to have a good shave. That felt pretty good. That That's, that's a good shave. It's nice when you get a, uh, a shaver like this. You spend your $40, you paid for the shipping. It comes in all nice and shiny. Nice fit and finish. And gives you a smooth, comfortable shave. Just what you expect. Not disappointed at all. Be disappointed if you get it and you get a terrible shave. Figuring, hey, most people, not all people, most folks are going to have a, a derby blade. And derby blade did well. Got just a little bit of stinging over here on my neck. First time shave, you got to expect something, but I didn't. It didn't feel like I was getting anything like that. The shave went so smooth. Face is smooth. Wow, this is this is really nice. Unscented witch hazel, mentholated. The um, <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good shaver there. I think there's going to be a number of people that are going to be quite happy with it. Oh, as it goes for blade gap, that sort of thing, I am not not one of those guys that keep track of the blade gap. It's more like the shave feel for me. That's what I keep up with. If there, you can have an aggressive shaver that still will give you good good shaves and I'm quite alright with those kind of shavers this one here is smooth comfortable efficient just like the box says I have uh, this will be the second fine uh, accoutrements uh, razor that I've tried and uh, I have not been disappointed on either one of them not, this one here is on loan Randy Wright is uh, he put it got a hold of me and we Talked a short moment, and uh, he shipped it right to me. And uh, so this one's on loan from Randy Wright. I'm going to put a link down below for his video so you can get his views on it also. But, uh, yeah, not disappointed at all. This is a good shave. Looking forward to a whole week of this. This is going to be awesome. Aftershave here. <laughs> That's it. Oh. And when I looked at the website, he still had some, uh, I think he still had some aftershave. I might be wrong on that. But if you're interested, you got to check it out. I guess you might say I'm kind of excited. This, this shaver is really nice. If you're looking for a nice, shiny shaver, this would be one to add to the... Uh, to the den because this one's pretty smooth shaven. Like I said, most folks have got a uh, derby blade in their in their den somewhere, and that one there worked out pretty well for me. Hopings this blade choice would help some folks if they're one of these blades happens to be one of your favorites, you know, and I try it with the shaver might give you some sort of idea what to expect with it, but that's. Don't know if you could tell what that blade looks like in the shaver itself. It's there. It's hanging out there. For me, I'm, in other words, I'm looking at it and um, I can see the blade. Uh, I've seen these kind of shavers before. As long as they're pointing down, that blade sticking out there like that doesn't bother me too much. But when it's kind of sticking straight out, those make me nervous. Those are the ones that are usually aggressive. And, of course, most likely very efficient. I feel great. Boy, this is a good shape. At any rate, I'll put the links down below. Scent profile. Link to uh, Marvel. Uh, that fine accoutrements from Marvel Shaver here. Boy, that was this is a great shape. Great way to start out the Monday. I'll put everything down below. Hope everybody's doing well. 
Stay safe and smooth shaves to you on a Monday morning.